<laughs> Welcome to your dose of daily tired but inspired. And um, after yawning really big, which was probably uh, not on camera, I hope um, my coffee pot just went off. So that's what I was waiting for. Um, oh yeah. So today is day 65. I will weigh in and send my journal in and um, take pictures. And I am just doing the coffee supplement thing. I am almost out of supplements, so hopefully they will be in soon. And my eyes are just tearing. And um, I had some extremely profound things to share this morning. And, um, you know, they came and they went. So, um, it actually, it was, what I was thinking about is that physically tired is actually not a bad thing. Um, then we rest, right? So if we're physically tired, it means we did something and rest. Um, we get our energy back. We reboot. Resting is really, really important. Um, and I think that a physical tired is really good for you. I think an a, ment a mental and emotional tired, however, is not so good for you and can take its toll on way more things and on way bigger things um, and can cause a negative impact. And I guess I'm sharing that because I think we tend to be afraid of being physically tired. One of the things that I'm realizing is that people who've had injuries um, or, um, you know, just in general, they're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to, I'm tired, so I'm not going to exercise. I don't feel great, so I'm not going to exercise. Um, and I actually think that's really backwards for most people. I do want to qualify somebody who has chronic fatigue syndrome, and there's a couple of other syndromes and, uh, physical stuff out there that there's certain people who know, and I can't remember... I know chronic fatigue is one of them, um, and it may be um, people with um, MS, um, potentially CP, that they really cannot overstress their body because the recovery really is way too long. But, you know, if you have a little bit of a cold, and other than, you know, if you're not asthmatic, it's totally good to walk around. Um, if you're tired, you will, especially physically and mentally, if you're tired, walk. Don't sit still. It actually compounds negatively. And I just know, I mean, a lot of people are going through stuff. And so there's this like, like sort of triple quadruple whammy that what happens, they get stressed. Um, they stop working out, which physically depletes their energy. And then because they're tired and stressed, they eat poorly, which then compounds on their physical body which makes them more, you know, less physically fit and more tired. Um, and then they withdraw. And that just is like, it's just a whammy. And you go down, down, and down. And, um, you know, and some people, when people, this happens, they just sort of, you know, they, they take off and deflate. And it's just really critical to, I'm not saying it's easy, but when those things happen, to sort of plug back in and go, okay, if and I do anything right now, even though I don't feel like it, I'm going to move. And that can actually reverse the pattern. 30 minutes of exercise, um, they have found is equivalent to, um, I don't know the, the dosage, but is literally, um, is equivalent to a dosage of, of Prozac. So, um, and it's all natural. So I just really want to encourage you. I know you may not feel like it, but always move, always move, always move always move like I'm getting ready to do move okay so I just wanted to share that and um, don't stop and I will talk to you tomorrow but I will post my numbers maybe my pictures <laughs> and I'll talk to you later